Are Reagan allegedly that? claimed that she was suicidal. Reagan claims that the caller was her cousin Matt's ex-girlfriend, but did not provide any proof of that claim. She earlier stated that she couldn't talk about the C and D in her streams, but later at a bar while she was drinking, spilling beans. Reagan's claims are currently unconfirmed. It is worth noting that when... Oh, wait! Oh, my God! I would like to thank the person who called the wellness check-in as it seemed like the responsible thing to do. Please call emergency services if you ever feel like someone might take their own life. You might actually save them. My source claims. My source? Is it your head? <laughs> Titled wellness check on what is now the Rainy Mulane channel formerly known as Pip Yup corresponds to the wellness check that was being referred to in her live was the same instant Reagan later claimed that wait 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 hold on oh, wait we're getting into conspiracy territory wait okay my source claims that Reagan's video titled wellness check on what is now the Rainy Mulane channel formerly known as Pip Yup corresponded to the wellness check that was being referred to in her live and was the same incident. Reagan later confirmed that she was making an ARG <laughs> and she didn't want to worry her followers. <laughs> my, my source claimed that this is untrue and that the wellness check was not only real but necessary due to Reagan's unstable state. Oh my god, that's actually kind of fucking funny. Because this is a part of the ARG! Was I the person that called the um, wellness check on you? Fuck yeah, I was the one person. I fucking kept texting and calling your cousin, man. There's something wrong with her. There's something wrong with her. There's something wrong with her. No one would answer. Something wrong with her. Matt, Matt, check her out, check her out, check it out. I tried for like almost two hours. And your own fucking cousin that you call your brother. <laughs> it didn't even give a flying fuck about you. Whatever. Once I finally got through, um, really didn't care. Obviously, nothing happened to you because you're still streaming every fucking day drunk on here. You're a waste of fucking life when you're drinking and driving. You, we all know you have a DUI. Um, yeah, it's really kind of fucking pathetic. You're kind of a pathetic person. I'm kind of literally doing this in retaliation. So, I have nothing to fucking lose. Like, kind of wish people would just back the fuck off. Like, I'm not trying to do anything for the last, like, few months. Just trying to let things go. Um, if you want to talk shit, that's fine. Um, people think... I don't even know. People think I'm a fucking villain. I'm not a motherfucking villain. I don't really care about anything. I'm just trying to speak, like... My truth, I suppose. Uh, there's this girl. Okay, so here's a story. I'm just going to let it go. I don't care if there's one viewer or zero viewers myself. Um, there's this woman. I suppose you can call her a woman. She's like 25. She's a ch fucking child. Um, her name's Reagan fucking Edwards. She lives in fucking Alabama. Not me doxing her. She puts her whole fucking life out there. Um... I did not date her ex, uh, or her, uh, cousin. We had a summer fucking fling. Cool. Thank you. He faked fucking COVID. Like, if there's anything you're gonna fucking fake besides cancer at this point, like, what else is it gonna be? It's gonna be fucking COVID. Like, you're a fucking loser. You fucking fake COVID. And you know I'm a fucking medical social worker, right? So, I... <sighs> Mm, mm, I'm keeping it all in to a degree. Fuck him for thinking he can fake fucking COVID. And I know his dumb bitch cousin who's up his ass all the time decided, oh, I'm going to write a fucking letter because she wrote me a fucking fake cease and desist letter 
go fuck herself. That this is amazing. Anyways, he decided he's gonna write a fucking fucking letter. So he's so sick. Blah, blah, blah. Fuck you, Matt. Then at that point, um, we talked for a couple, like a week or two, and then uh, at that point, um, he decided I'm gonna come up by you because my family sucks. Yada yada yada. My aunt's dying. Yada yada. yada. Not, like, putting a bad thing on his aunt because, you know, it's sad that his aunt was dying. And, you know, of course, that's horrible. So, his aunt was dying. He's like, I'm going to fake COVID. I'm going to have my cousin Reagan uh, make a fucking fake letter that I have fucking COVID for work. As he knows, I'm a medical, medical social worker. I work on the neuro tele unit. And I kind of let go, and that was my part. And I did what I did. So anyways, um, he decided that he was gonna fuck around, whatever. We talked for like a week, week and a half, two weeks. I stupidly allowed him to come here. He flew up from Birmingham, Alabama. He doesn't live necessarily in Birmingham, Alabama, but you're, he knows I'm a medical, medical social worker. I work on the neuro tele unit. He decided that he was gonna fuck around, whatever. We talked for like a week, week and a half, two weeks. I stupidly allowed him to come here. He flew up. And like the week leading up to his mom, he had to talk to me a couple of times to make sure I wasn't like a fucking killer. The fuck am I gonna do with my? I don't even like. I don't even deal with guns. What am I gonna do? Um, he flew up. I picked him at O'Hare Airport because I live in fucking Chicago. I'm not really worried about my fucking safety. Hello, I'm Kathleen. I live in fucking. The metropolitan area of Chicago. Come get me. Ooh, it's so scary. Anyways, um, I picked him up at O'Hare Airport. I had to find him for a minute. I had to actually park my car. He couldn't even come through the thing. This is dumb as fuck. <laughs> Long story short, we talked to Reagan, Pip Yup, Reagan Edwards, whatever the fuck you want to call her. Um, not gaslighting her, not doxing her, because she puts her whole fucking life out there. So, she wants to make fun of Eugenia Cooney, she can make fun of Eugenia Cooney. She did the same shit to Eugenia Cooney then for years, before I even hopped on the bandwagon. She doxed, she made fun of Eugenia Cooney, she streamed Eugenia Cooney, talk shit about Eugenia Cooney. Um, she brought up her name all the fucking time. She's a horrible person. That's all I'm gonna say. I'm gonna leave it at, no, I probably won't leave it at that because fuck her. She's a shitty ass motherfucking person. And I hope this gets out to her. So if you see this, Reagan, you're a shitty motherfucking person. Everything you talk about and everything you fucking do is everything that you did to Eugenia. So send me a cease and desist. Send me a cease and desist. My lawyer looked at that and he laughed. He laughed his ass off. He's like, girl, do not even respond to that. Do not even acknowledge that fuckery. Um... She's a dumb bitch. She's, and then I sent him videos of you and your drunk. Well, he didn't say girl, but he's like, Kathleen, like, you do not even worry about that. Do not even worry about Reagan. Talking shit. Sending fake and deceased letters that you wrote up from the internet that anyone could have written up. No one's scared of you. Oh, and the best, the best part is when you thought that letter was sent, you tried to look up my number, and you motherfucking, like, was like, Kathleen Wagner, oh, let's see what number she's associated with, and you called my motherfucking mom, <laughs> and my mom's like, bitch, like, ain't nobody here, but then she sent me messages like, this number called me. And she, like, my poor old mother, my poor old mother, like, Googled the fucking number that you called her from, which is your number, you dumb o. And it associates with other people. And she's like, do you know any of these people? I was like, no. And then I looked back and I was like, hmm, yeah, I know that number. 
Look at this dumb bitch from fucking fucking Reagan Edwards Mulaney, whatever the fuck she wants to call herself, her dumbass motherfucking bitch. <laughs> I was like, ah, yeah, I know that number. And then you had some mother random number call me from some wild ass Alabama number. <laughs> You think I'm scared of you, you little fucking twit. Go the fuck home. So anyways, that's where I'm at. We talked about it. We did it. Like, the worst thing I ever did was get involved in your little uh, 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 cult, I suppose. If you want to talk about mental health illnesses, girl, look at yourself. Like, that's, like, embarrassing. Because you are dumb as fuck. I'm sorry. I don't wish any bad on you, but... <laughs> You're dumb. Did you really think that no one would see it?